Bloodwing butterflies operate in the Empire's shadows. Not even the Abbey knows their full scope beyond whispers and rumor. And you all have a connection to them, don't you? Dark and interconnected is the Underworld. We've heard voices in the shadows, glimpsed faces behind paper-thin masks. The attack on High Priest Gideon. Was that at their behest? Yeah, the Bloodwings asked us to take him out. We did it in exchange for information that could lead us to Artorias. Information? You would assassinate a man for mere information? Yes. Information on the Shepherd who rules the world. Not a bad deal if you ask me. We just work with them when our interests align. Nothing more. That's the kind of thin justification I'd expect to hear from them, too. But the Bloodwings were acting upon knowledge that the High Priest was harming the people of the city. You're right. The incident with the Nectar was the Church's failing. And it seems that the Bloodwing Butterfly Network goes further and deeper than we had thought. They knew about the barrier at the throne, too. And Velvet's expertise at Dove Mimicry. <sighs> Would you stop bringing that up? Dove Mimicry? What does that mean? I have no idea. There was a dove near the dock checkpoint. That's all. Huh? Right! It was a black, full-chested dove, wasn't it? Cuckoo! A black, full-chested dove? Is that some sort of underworld code word? In Logris. It was a lot tougher to get in the first time. <laughs> More funny than tough, if you ask me. Oh, you mean Velvet's little dove act? Coo coo! I'd be careful teasing her if I were you. You know how she can get. Oh, don't act like you didn't enjoy it too. I'm sure you did, right? Good little boys don't lie to adults, you know. I might have. Just a little. Say it like a dove. It was funny. Coo, coo. Is Inominat's book so difficult? Grimoire seemed perplexed by it. Yeah. She said it was written in ancient Avarost, a language that uses Impressionist script. I've never heard of Impressionist script. Each character can have many different meanings and readings, depending on the emotion it's expressing and the way it relates to the characters around it. Some modest records on its grammar and structure survive, but none that say how to read the emotion the characters express. Grimoire said that you have to recreate the writer's feelings as a sort of starting point in order to read it. I see. And you have a talent for that sort of thing? I guess I do. But a script based on emotions? That's as far removed from modern language as can be. Yeah. It's completely unrelated, apparently. How can it be completely unrelated? After the temperance of Avarost, the entirety of human civilization vanished. The language went with it. Much as a blooming flower loses its petals, the Avarost civilization grew too far and came to its final end. The surviving buildings and ancient tools, the likes of which our technology cannot replicate, were the beginning of that end. In any case, it sounds like deciphering that writing will take quite a while.
sure is big. Yeah, with historical buildings and artisans and all, there's much of interest here for a boy who loves to learn. Uh-huh. Sightseeing's nice and all, but don't wander off and get lost. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Don't worry about him. He can take care of himself. I know. I was just saying. You look like travelers. I have some good news for you. The restrictions on travel to the Aldina Plains are going to be lifted soon. The road's opening back up! So, that's the latest word on the streets? Ha! <laughs> I see what you did there. I try to liven things up around here. <laughs> well, ever since Lord Artorius became the Shepherd, demon attacks have gone down. The world's filled with hardships. But perhaps things are starting to go in the right direction. Perhaps. The demons who nearly destroyed Halavis are still skipping about on the loose, though. What? And just the other day, a village near Isalt was destroyed by the demon blight. Guess the capital doesn't mind, though. What? Don't worry about it. Your shepherd and the abbey are going to save the world, right? Um, listening to you has kind of gotten me all nervous again. If you hear any other scary stories, let me know, please. Hmm, I've got one with fresh blood, melted bodies. Oh! If you're going to waste... Well, that's enough of this. Wait! What's with this crowd? Majalu's troop just put on a real show. Man, it was the best! Her dancing was every bit as great as I'd heard. Wow, the Majalu? Surely you mean Mogilu! Has my time to bask in fame finally come at long last? No, we're talking about Majalu, not Mogilu. You know, Lulu, the famous dancer? She actually goes by the Majestic Lulu, but everyone calls her Majulu. Just watching the beauty of her dance, you can't help but feel like maybe everything's gonna turn out okay in the world. Sounds like a pretty cheerful act she has. Cheerful? This is all a rip-off! She's just trying to pass off as Magilu's menagerie and profit from our good name! What good name? We don't actually perform anything. I was planning on getting started eventually, but now this con artist comes along and ruins everything! I can't just ignore that, you know. <gasps> it's Modulu! You did great today, Modulu. I loved it! 
Thank you so much. But according to my teacher, I still have a long way to go. I'll work hard to do better next time, so I hope you'll come see me. Modulo's teacher is a dancer named Balta, whose immense talent brought him all the fame in the world. But Balta suffered a tragic injury that took him forever from the stage, and now Modulo is working hard to carry on his dream. <laughs> so, you're Modulo then? I am. My teacher and I work really hard to put on performances that'll leave a lasting impact. And I refuse to let anyone call me a phony. Oh? And how do you propose to stop me? Taking it to this... Yes. Lulu, don't go around picking petty fights. But sir, this woman, she... You should know better. If you have the energy to spare spitting vitriol at people, if you need to express your... Yes, sir. You're right. <sighs> Teacher, is the pain acting up again? It's no matter. What does pain compare to losing the ability to dance? Anyway, what... I I'm fine. Good. Then let's head back. He seems strict. He does. But keep in mind that Balta recognized her talent at a young age. He even adopted her so he could pass on everything he knew. He might be strict. You sure know an awful lot about them. I'm... sort... a teacher and his student. That's why I think it's high time for Mogilu's Menagerie to put on a show! And for our act, we'll be a com Comedy? You heard me propose a ch- But not one of you knows a single act- Sorry, don't apologize. Well, you could act now, no, with comedy, but oh, I'm a. It's an, what that? You're that's ex. I'm not. The you know what? This plant. Eyes. Then it's set for now. Uh, Even me. Certain. I. Whenever I hear Magilu's name, I can't help but think of Magilani. Magilanica? Oh, she's just a girl who worked as part of- That's her, all right. For a time, he thanks to her, the rest of the troop- Yeah. But event- I hear Magilanica with- True fact! Everyone- Well, I've never- That's not too surprising. Remind me, Magilu. How old are you again? What? How old would you say I am? Well, from your reaction, I can at least tell you're not my age. The nights are so cold of late. It's gotten harder to get flamestone, too. I hear the port at Helavis is at a near standstill. No matter how much flamestone they mine from Mount Kelleraus, they can't get it shipped out. I'm sure the Abbey is aware of the situation. It's not just us who are suffering. We have to endure. 
Times like these is when we need to practice Lord Artorius's teachings. The many outweigh the individual. Exactly. I'm sure Lord Artorius will think of us soon and send aid. He doesn't give a damn about any of you. How dare you! The many outweigh the individual, right? Artorius wants to save humanity as a whole. Your individual troubles aren't important to him. You have no idea what you're talking about! Aren't we part of the whole he wants to save? What happy fools. Sorry about that. Really? But, but really, that... When will the High Priest return to us? Keep this between us, but I heard Lord Gideon was killed by demons. Surely that's not true. It most certainly is true. Hey, shh! They'll hear you. I know someone who works in the palace, and he said the demon was a girl with the head of a wolf and the body of a gorilla. But how could a demon have gotten into the palace? Apparently, there was a power struggle among the higher-ups, and Gideon's enemies snuck the demon into his villa. They say that's why people sometimes heard terrifying screams coming from the place. Oh, is the demon still there? No idea. Rumor says she escaped, but I wouldn't worry. There's no way she'd stick around here. That's what you think. She's right here, so you'd better watch- Stop missing- Eleanor, I need you to wait outside. The boss of the Bloodwings knows an exorcist is with us, but... Say no more. I'm sure they have clients who wouldn't appreciate their faces being known to the Abbey. Correct. Lofi said, you stay with Eleanor. Okay. I'll be back soon. My thanks for coming all this way. It's been a while. Would you care for a peach pie? What do you want? Oh. It would do you good to unwind every now and again, you know. Stretch a bow too far and its string is bound to snap. What do you want? <sighs> I would like you to escort this person out of the capital. Something smells about this. Literally. Where am I taking them? Somewhere the authorities can't reach them. Sounds nice. I could do with such a place myself. No joke. We've been looking for a place to lay low. But we haven't had any luck yet. Well, come to think of it, I've heard a rumor that it's been a while since the Abbey has had any contact from Titania. The prison island. Titania? But I thought the Abbey was in direct control of that place. Has the situation there gotten that bad since you left? Sometimes the answer is right under your nose. I think it might work. Yeah, could make a decent hideout, actually. The Therians could definitely get their fill of malevolence there. And the Abbey is far too goody-goody to imagine an escaped prisoner would ever return to her prison by her own free will. At the very least, I'd say it's worth checking out. I take it our intel has proven useful? It has. But before we go, have you heard anything about the Abbey harboring demons? I'm aware there was a demon in the villa, and that it has been relocated. Where? I can't say right this moment, but I'm sure we will find out shortly. Alright, then in exchange for this passenger's safety, I want more information on that demon. You've got a deal. Aizen, I heard about your confrontation with Melchior. I'm sorry I wasn't able to help you find him. Yeah, he really blew that one, toots. It's fine. What's done is done. Have you given up on finding Eifried? No, I haven't. 
The crew and I will do whatever we can to quash the Abbey's plans. We do them enough damage, and the Abbey ought to start thinking about putting their hostage to good use. They'll set him up as a trap for us, and that's when we'll steal him back. Attacking the Abbey to create an opening for his escape. Clever. It's what Ifrid would do. That's all. They're taking a while. Yeah. The Shepherd has a special mission for you. You are to protect the Malak Lafiset and bring him to the Logris Abbey headquarters. What's wrong? Hey, you want to take a walk around the capital for a bit? I can show you some of the sights. But, um... You... you can't trust me. I understand. No, it's not that. I promise. I'd love to go sightseeing with you, Eleanor. Luffy said. Uh, well... We'll do it another time, okay? Why? It's just... You know, Velvet would get mad at us. Get mad about what? Ah, you're done. And who is this? A VIP entrusted to us by the head of the Blood Wings. We're stowing them away on Titania where the bad guys can't get at them. The prison island? Just who is this person? Didn't ask. What? <sighs> hey, something smells nice. Uh, uh huh? <laughs> Stop sniffing things. We're leaving. Who is that caped man? I do not know, but his hawk seemed extraordinarily well trained. Trained to hunt, maybe? I'd imagine. It takes a great deal of time and money to train a bird like that. <laughs> what is it? I smell something nice. <laughs> Indeed. The scent is somehow familiar. <laughs> it can't be. Hmm? What are you two sniffing at? Aha! They're bloodhounds on the hunt! But... we're talking about hawks hunting, aren't we? Come again? Oh, I'm sorry. Please excuse my poor manners. I can't believe you take a job without bothering to ask who you're escorting or why. The less you know, the less trouble you invite.
Could you fit my comedy act into tonight's show? I'm still breaking in my new partner, but I can carry the act. For you, Maggie dear, I'll do it as a personal favor, but you get 200 flat. No expenses, no... Oh, come on, don't... It gets worse. Our headliner is doubling up after, and the opener flubbed the... Playing deuce for a cold house? What the hell are you even... I'm saying we're going... What? You were... I'll take care of the actual funny bonus points if you toss the... Oh, hold on. This is all happening. You'd better get ready, because... Your lovely comedians for today! Magic is in! We're still new to the comedy business, but we'll do our best to give you a memorable show! Now, I'm Moggy, the bright, beaming one in the pair, while my moody little partner here is... <laughs> hey, what's wrong, Belle? Everything okay? You need to put some energy into this, or we're in trouble! Come on! If you've got one redeeming feature, it's your moxie! That might be, but this is different. I can see you're going through something right now. All right, let's take a deep breath together. <laughs> Excuse us for just one moment. Velvet, what are you doing? We're losing the audience. I, I can't help it. I've never talked in front of such a big crowd before. Wait, don't tell me you've got stage fright. So what if I do? That's so unlike you. Just pretend that you're fighting some nasty exorcist and give it some gusto. Easy for you to say. I'm embarrassed out here. Don't be such a girl! I am a girl! That's it! Just do that, but project your voice! I can't, and I don't want to. You're a comedian, you have to! Where's your passion for your newfound art? I'm not one, and I've never had any. No, I can see it within you, deep down, the burning passion of a true artist at heart! I've had enough! I can't do this with you! <laughs> Sorry, folks. Show's over. Well, you've certainly shown me something new. A comedy team that just stands on stage whispering to each other. We're going for a brand new comedic style. So, <laughs> what did you think? <sighs> Don't quit your day job. That's what I thought. Ah! Now she plays the straight man. Scout ships. 